Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. I'm finally making a fancy fold card. Not that it's particularly complicated or anything, but I did mention recently in one of my cards in the mail to me videos that, you know, I get lots of fancy fold cards sent to me and I don't do them on video because obviously work. I work in international A4, which all the world does apart from America who works in eight and a half by 11. So I've never done them before because you know what, it's complicated enough work in metric and imperial but then you throw in imperial for eight and a half by eleven and it's just game over but i did think you know what i could make a four by four or a six by six or a non-standard size so this is a four by four inch card ten by ten centimeters if you watched my video a couple of weeks ago i made a vellum envelope so i could even teach you how to make your own envelopes but like i say it's not massively fancy but it's a little bit different it will sit like that just lovely and yes it does pop open a little bit but you know inside an envelope it's going to be fine and you want it to stand so I'm really pleased with it I just you know I had a little play I had some not scraps because that is a good size piece of paper but I had some bits to use up and here's the good thing it's actually you can make two of these from a single sheet of cardstock and it doesn't matter whether it's eight and a half by eleven or international a4 because this panel measures four by ten inches uh, which is 10 by 25 centimeters and obviously the length of cardstock is more than enough and the width is enough for you to get two out so bravo right let me show you how to make this so like i said four by ten inch piece of cardstock i'm going to grab my trimmer and use the scoring on this four by ten inches 10 by 25 centimeters and make sure you put your cutting blade away use the scoring blade so we're going to score it at four inches, five and a half and six and a half inches. So if you're working in metric, you're scoring at um, 10, 10 centimetres, 14 centimetres and 16 and a half. OK, so that's all the scoring that's done. It's easy peasy. Right, so we're going to start concertina and you can see that there's a four inch, there's a square panel. That's the back. So you fold that one down, then you fold the next score line away, and then you fold this one over. Like I say, this is not the you know this is not the fanciest of fancy folds out there, but I was really pleased with it. I thought, oh, let's see what I can do. Okay, so what I've got here are literally scraps, and let me show you. This was a scrap I found and I thought, oh great, I can use this one. So I went grey granite dominant on this one with some magenta madness. And it's from the same prize peony paper pack. Let me find some more. <laughs> Literally scraps. Um, <laughs> I was like, what can I do with that? So it's funny little pieces. So it's grey granite, um, basic grey, which this is, and petal pink is the other colour. So we've got a piece for the front and a piece for the back which I've cut the wrong size I'll have to cut that differently but it's a piece for the front oh no it is that's right oh I've missed a bit I haven't cut one piece <gasps> quick I need to cut another piece so you need two pieces that are three and a quarter by three and three quarter inches which there you go I knew I needed to cut a second one which is eight by nine and a half centimetres. And they are for basically both sides of this front panel. Both sides of it. OK, so let's glue those on now. Get my seal. Seal. I haven't heard, had anybody come to me and say my seal's not working or anything like that, but I have heard other people say, oh, I don't get on with my seal. Um, and... I find a light touch and you give it a little flick and it's you're good to go so that's the inside and outside of that front panel so you need two of those we need two for this panel here front and back and I went with this plain color there again three and three quarter inches long and this time by one and a quarter inch wide so in metric nine and a half by three and a half centimeters and they go oh, One and a quarter inches, not one and three quarters. Oh, for goodness sake, Samantha. <laughs> Let me just trim some more. 
I had totally planned this video. I'm reading my own instructions incorrectly. <laughs> I've got all of the measurements. Now you understand why I don't do cards, particularly on video where I'm giving out actual measurements. <laughs> Sack the demonstrator. These are my notes. They're all very carefully handwritten next to me. Should we try that again? <laughs> one and a quarter by three and three quarter inches, three and a half by nine and a half centimetres. Okay, so they're the front and back of that panel. And then these ones here, let me just, before I get them all glued up, these ones, again, that's for this part here and this part here, three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters so that's two centimeters by nine and a half okay and we'll get those on there honestly this is super easy this card assuming you cut all your bits the right length and then on my original card one of the patterns that has the grey granite in it was this marble which I felt was plain enough that you could write on it or stamp on it or what have you. There isn't anything in grey granite. Where's my big pack of paper? This is the full pack. See look at all my lovely little scraps. There's nothing in grey granite that is plain to write on so I thought I'll just go whisper white. So I cut a piece of whisper white three and three quarters by... that was the bit I cut wrong. Three and three quarters by three and three quarter inches nine and a half by nine and a half centimeters i'm just you know what i really wanted to do was show you my trimmer <laughs> let's give it a full workout today and now you can obviously like any of my projects i show you them with one colorway or one paper pack or one set of stamping you could do this with anything you could put you know you can make a child's card you could make a wedding card you can make a christmas card anything you like and that is my card i'm just gonna reinforce 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 my score lines a little bit but that is simply it how cool is that i'm really pleased with it like i said i don't do fancy fold i have on this one i did the prize peonies and i did in whisper white and brush the edges this one I've gone full on hot pink because it's lush. I don't have a brace, basic grey, I really can't speak, basic grey ribbon. So I grabbed out my glittered or, organdy ribbon. I also apparently can't speak today. So I'm just going to triple it over to get the right length. I've already cut this in advance. Actually, I thought it was going to take me much longer to do show you how to make this card, but I've impressed myself that despite my errors, I'm still only at eight minutes. So layer all that on, stick it down, and then we're going to load up the dimensionals now. Let's have about four of them, I reckon. I find dimensionals are very good for added um, adhesive when you've got ribbons and stuff attached. I have to trim that tail a little bit more. So on the front of that, I love it. Oh, I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> it's the little things. I'm really pleased with how that's come out. Um, and like I say, that would be cute. That would be a nice little standout. So if you haven't ventured into fancy vault cards and you fancy trying something that isn't enormously complicated, I'd say that was easy. I'd say that was quite easy to make. But yeah, I'm really pleased with them. I love how they look. <sighs> Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.